Oh, fighting out of the red corner is a Ukrainian boxer, Elmir Nabiev. His opponent is Joel Finol of Venezuela. So just final moments of instruction and direction of the world championship, de Jake championship debutant Elmir Nabiev. The old final very experienced operator at this level, just having his equipment checked. And Mr. Nagi Osman. Just ask whether the boxers want to touch gloves. They do so sportingly, and we're about ready to get this fifth day in the afternoon session underway. We're in the 54-kilogram bantamweight division. This is action from the first preliminary round, the round of 32, featuring boxers from Ukraine and Venezuela. The shorter of the two boxers, wearing red, is the Ukrainian athlete, Elmir Nabiev, 21 years of age, Comes to the ring as the reigning national champion of Ukraine. It's his first appearance in a tournament of this magnitude. The overwhelming majority of his contests have taken place in his homeland. His opponent, on the other hand, Joel Finol, a very experienced operator, 25 years of age, two-time Olympian, was an Olympic bronze medalist in Rio. Swinging left hand not too far away from Nabiev. This is his third appearance at an Aiba World Boxing Championships, having boxed in the 2015 edition in Doha. He scores with a good southpaw left to the body, and most recently in Yekaterinburg. But that Olympic bronze in Rio was a really impressive run through to the podium for Finol. In a long wait for all of the boxers who are just getting underway today. The right hand attempted was blocked by the left of Nabiev, who is trying to stalk and close the distance against his taller opponent. opponent. But Finol demonstrating good movement, holding his feet only momentarily, invariably darting into range, then out of range, then laterally left and right. Scored with a good southpaw left just a few moments ago. And Nabiev, that left hand turning into a kidney punch as Finol was changing direction, looking for the backhand to the body once again, but he's got to quicken his feet here and maintain more pressure because at this juncture, Finol appears incredibly comfortable. And of course, there is a disparity in not only age, but experience as well. That right hand to the body was far closer from Elmir Nabiev. This very much a baptism of fire facing off against one of the top Aiba boxers over the years. You see him celebrate that left cross by raising that hand immediately after it landed. S flicking right jab gets between the high-held hands of the Ukrainian boxer. There's a lashing left to the body, which again, Finol ce celebrates. So closing seconds of the opening round, and Nabiev just hasn't been able to get up to speed with his opponent. That left hand wasn't too far away. But the man controlling the terms of the opening round is the taller man from Venezuela, the boxer in the blue corner. Very comfortable indeed over the course of that first three minutes for my money. Remember, Aiba life scoring is in effect. Ten-point must system being implemented 
by the five scoring judges. All scores are considered and all five of the judges scoring in favor of the man from Venezuela. So it was Finol who was incredibly comfortable during the course of the opening round. Boxing on his own terms. Single shots coming from Nabiev on occasion. But he's going to have to try and do something different if he hopes for the outcome of the second round to be something other than it was in the first. So we go into the second round then, as well as all his, of his experience on the global stage. The old final was a member of the Venezuela Caciques in World Series boxing, sharing the ring with some outstanding operator, Shaq Badin Zoyrov, who eliminated him at the semi-final stage in Rio five years ago. As he continues to pile up the points with accurate singles. So shared the ring with two-time Olympic champion Robbie C. Ramirez in World Series boxing. To his credit, Nabiev trying to close the distance. But Finol always finding an avenue of escape. There's a good right hand over the top from Nabiev. Perhaps his best shot of the entire contest. Counter right hand, which found the mark. So minute gone in the second round. Got to be careful that he doesn't just follow Finol around the ring, Nabiev. Got to try and cut the man off rather than just chase his shadow. And again, I'm sure that Nabiev is aware of all this, given his steady progression through the domestic scene in Ukraine. A series of podium finishes in the junior and youth ranks before finally claiming national championship gold in the senior ranks earlier this year. But this, a different level altogether. Tries to close the distance, heads threatening to come together as Finol tried to get himself off the ropes. Winding up for a big backhand was Finol, but couldn't find the range. Nabiev very correcting in his, in his approach, but he walked onto a southpaw right there as he was just thinking about letting his own hands go. But again, like so many other endeavors, it's all very well getting the rudiments down. But then as he goes through his career in Aiba boxing, Nabiev just got to have a little bit more of his own personality, his own flavor, some guile, some disguise. That will come with experience, of course, and what better place to gain experience as he runs into another two-shot salvo while trying to look for his own offense. Very competitive. There's nothing wrong with the man's spirit. Never stop pursuing his man. But again, not enough effective offense for him to take the round for my money. But how do the five scoring judges see it? He's in there competing. But not really, for my money, able to find a range. Well, two judges disagree with me. And they've scored it 10-9 in Nabiev's favor. So crucially, with the 3-2 split in the second round, scored in favor of Finol. He leads 20 points to 18 on three of the five scorecards. It's tied up 18 points apiece on the cards of judges one and three from Puerto Rico and England, respectively. So into the third and final round then. Now Biev just adds on a 3-2 split. In the second round, and 
so he needs a massive final round to overturn the 20 points to 18 deficit that he faces on the cards of judges two, four, and five. Looking for that backhand once again, which was his best shot of the entire contest when he landed it in round two. There's a straight right hand to the body. Fennell is trying to present the man with more movement now. Southpaw left is a scoring shot, even though it didn't have much power behind it. Two-shot combination, not too far away from Nabiev, even though his feet did appear to be in a little bit of a tangle. Being maneuvered back to the corner now by the ring craft and footwork of Finol. Hasn't really punished him when he's put him in that confined position, but he did land with a roundhouse southpaw left there. Coming forwards once again is Nabiev, but not able to close the distance and find the mark. Scoring right hand to the body from the man in red. Made to miss with his attempted one-two upstairs. Did get through with that right hand just a few moments ago. Looking for a flashy left uppercut now is Finol. And there's plenty of movement from Finol. He's put on the end of a two-shot combination there as he landed one single. But he's not letting his hands go with any great regularity, Yoel Finol. Keeping himself out of trouble, perhaps, well, if his coaches have shared the information with him, thanks to Aiba Life scoring, aware of the fact that he's leading 2018 for three judges. And so just managing this third and final round, ensuring that he doesn't pick up an injury, damaged nose or a cut eye. You see him covering up to repel the attack produced by Nabiev there. But even though he's not punching with any great frequency, he's been very busy in this round as Finol, moving, dodging, darting, bobbing, weaving for practically the entire two and a half minutes we're approaching in this final round. And all of that movement is keeping Nabiev occupied. He's let his hands go sparingly, has found the range as he did with that right hand there. In the southpaw and orthodox box of the lead legs tangling. That's a good right hand from Nabiev. And again, Fenor's lack of punch output is presenting opportunities for the man in red. And when he was backed on the ropes, there was nowhere for him to escape to. And he was picked off by a right hand. There he comes back with a right jab of his own. But look at the backhand success for Nabiev, who really has competed in spirited fashion. Right hand success once again from the more compact boxer. Entertaining contest to open this fifth day of action here in Belgrade. One suspects it will be Yoel Yo Finol going through to the round of 16. But a solid display from Elmir Nabiev. Rather cautious in the second round, was edged in the second on a 3-2 split. And then in the third, as his confidence continued to grow and he continued to pursue victory, did have success with right hands. Ladies and gentlemen, he made bout number 194 in the ring A. The winner on points by split decision is the boxer out of the blue corner. And there's confirmation of a split decision victory for Yoel Finol. Takes him through to the round of 16, his second preliminary round in this, his third world championship appearance, and that's how he did it. Well, battling back very impressively was the man from Ukraine, taking the second and third rounds for judges one and three from Puerto Rico and England. Acquitted himself very well indeed, did this man. A slow start, ultimately proving costly. But perhaps to be expected, boxing outside of Ukraine for the first time in these early stages of his Aiba boxing career against a man who stood on the Olympic podium as a bronze medalist in Rio five years ago. Some of the action from our opening contest of day five here in Ring A. Ladies and gentlemen. 